Now let's learn how to create an actual box plot and interpret it. So let's go back to that draft lottery data. So in column A, we have the month, January through December, of course. And in column B, we have the number in which the date was picked. So January 1st was picked 305th. December 31st was picked 100th. December 30th was picked 3rd. So how can we summarize this data by month? Well, we select the data in red, control shift, right arrow, down arrow. And then we go insert, and then we'll get box and whisker plot right here. And I'm just going to click on the design tab and make this be black. I think it looks better. Okay, you can see things better. Now, there's a definite downward trend here in the end of the year. You can see October, November, December. You can see that the line here connecting the medians drops down. And so basically, that indicates that the months later in the year seem to have, on the average, lower draft numbers, which meant you were more likely to go to Vietnam and unfortunately die. Okay. And so basically, statisticians concluded there wasn't sort of adequate mixing of the capsules. That basically the ones that were put in last were more likely to be picked first. Now in 1971, they changed the mixing procedure and in a Homer problem, you'll do the box plot for the 1971 draft lottery and you'll see that this pattern at the end of the year did not exist. In our next video, we'll do another box plot going back to our Cisco and GM data and showing how we can easily compare Cisco and GM with a box plot. Probably much easier to do that than use the descriptive statistics or the histograms that we used earlier.